Well, the time has finally come for the first annual Deadwood Dave Home Hunters Awards for 2012. have a great award show for you today. I got all the judges here ready to put on an awesome show for you, give the nominees and to present the awards. Uh, I do want to start off by thanking them immensely, the amount of time and work they put into doing the, doing the awards and helping me out with them is immense. Having to watch, judge and grade every video that was submitted to us is a daunting task and they took it on head first without complaint and did it all for me. I want to thank them from the bottom of my heart so I know how much work this was for them and I really do appreciate it. I hope to bring them back next year. That's why I'm sucking their ass right now because I need them next year to do this. I really do hope they come back because they did a great job for me. And as for the actual award the winners will be receiving, I want to have something that was representative of the Dead with Dave show. MTV has the Moon Man Trophy. The Oscars have the Oscar Trophy. This is the Dead with Dave Home Haunters Awards Trophy for 2012. It's a mini tombstone made of solid billet aluminum, machined out on a CNC machine, and custom engraved for each of the categories, eight of them in total. Each winner will receive one in the mail from me. Um, I wanted something you guys would be proud of, something you could have no problem displaying, showing your friends and family, and say, hey, look, this is the award I won from the Dead with Dave show, and be proud of it. And I believe this accomplishes that. So with that, I think it's time to start handing some of these out. Let me introduce to you our first presenter of the evening. You might have heard him on Hawkcast. You might know him as Sunfire12 here on YouTube. He goes by the name Jason, but he's more known as Grimlock. A couple of years ago, if you wanted to learn how to build a prop, age a tombstone, or wire a new pneumatic, you either had to try to figure it out yourself or you went to the forums. Their fellow haunters wrote out what to do and maybe posted some pictures of their projects. But now, haunters are going to YouTube for all their how-to needs. You want to know how to carve foam, corpse skeleton, or even how to get real blood out of a white shirt? You can find it on YouTube. Some of these tutorials are great, tell you all you need to know while showing you everything you need to see. Well, this can just be a jumbled mess. So what better way to say thank you to the people that take that little extra time in making these great tutorials than just to have a category for them. Here are the nominees for the best tutorial.
And the winner is of this magnificent tombstone, Matt Courtney and his Flying Ghost tutorial. Congratulations to you, Matt. What a fantastic tutorial. Definitely a video to watch in full. Something I definitely want to build in the future. Before we move on, I, I want to make a real clear point right now. Um, during the taping of this, uh, we are heavily drinking. And if you see any funny movements or acting weirdly, it's because of the amount of alcohol being consumed during this production. So that's just a little warning for anybody thinking that we're doing this sober. Because we're not. <laughs> And with that being said, let's bring on our next presenter. Please welcome to the podium, Rich, a.k.a. Ghoulish Cop. into Halloween for different reasons. Maybe it was your parents got you into it. Maybe it was a house down the block that you saw that had put the props out in front of the yard that uh, made you all excited about Halloween. Or maybe you're just a sick and twisted fuck that wanted to scare the shit out of little kids. Whatever the reason was, and no matter what it was, we were all rookie haunters at some point. We all started off with crappy props from Walgreens, we had the bunched up cobwebs out in front of the house. We had a radio playing with the CD from Party City of the scary Halloween sounds. And we had that little red light on the front porch to try and scare the kids. But today, it seems the newbies are out there and they're coming up with the custom tombstones. They've got the killer detail work and they've got great lighting and even the homemade animations. Rookie Home Haunts are definitely starting off at a stronger point than we did before. And I can't wait to see where they go from here. I'm embarrassed to see my house put up against these uh, Rookie Home Haunters. The entries for this year's Best Rookie Haunt had quite a few amazing haunts that I would be proud to call my own. And with that, the nominees for Best Rookie Home Haunt are... And the winner is James Wright, Voodoo on the Bayou.
Congratulations, James, on your win. What a fantastic haunt. The rookie haunt category was very difficult to judge. So many new fantastic haunters out there, and uh, the lineup was pretty intense. But his haunt did shine through, and what a fantastic haunt it was. Definitely go check out his whole video. You're definitely worth a full watch. So congratulations to you, and thank you for entering. Now, our next presenter is new to YouTube. Uh, hasn't been in front of a video camera yet, so he might seem just a little bit nervous. You might know him from the forums. Please welcome Bob C. Animated props are what bring our haunts to life. Some things just need to move to make our haunts more realistic. Even though motor-driven props are more known for their slower movement, they're the key to giving our haunt that eerie, creepy feeling. Some props, like the Cauldron Creep, Tombstone Lurker, the Grave Escape, wouldn't have the same effect with that motor inside. The motor prop category this year was quite amazing and definitely showed the talent of haunters that build them. The nominees for the best motor-driven prop are And the winner is Christopher Leslie and Jenna Doctor with The Breathing Grave. I was rooting for you guys. Congratulations to you guys. A well-deserved award. Uh, the motor-driven prop category was very tough because of the range of props that were submitted. Uh, but definitely loved their prop. It's very well-fitting to any cemetery scene. Very awesome. Please check out their whole video. It is worth it. Uh, congratulations. Now, our next presenter couldn't be here in person because she lives very far away from us. But I definitely want to include her in the presentations because she is very well known here on YouTube and is definitely worth the satellite transfer fee that we invested in to do this. So please welcome one we all know and love, Tara Scary Lady Videos. <laughs> are those haunters
sponsors that have been around, they have good and bad gone through, the learning curves, the trials, the windy days, the rainy days, learning how to do all kinds of stuff. And so judging this category was difficult as I knew it would be. The level of detail that you see, the craftsmanship, it's right up there with the pro haunt. Uh, very exciting category. And so with that, the nominees for the best veteran home haunt are And the winner is Brad Goodspeed Butcher of Provincetown. Congratulations! Woo! Oh, I love <laughs> Congratulations to you, Brad. What an awesome haunt you brought this year. Just amazing. Let me tell you, the veteran category was out of this world. The bar is set so high with them, it's unbelievable. Any one of the nominees could have took top place. It is the, they are so good at what they do. Make sure you check out all the nominees. But Brad's Haunt uh, definitely took top honors. It was a complete haunt in every way. I loved it. I can't wait to see what he brings next year. But thank you again for your entry and congratulations to you. Let's move on to the next category, which is best pneumatic prop. And I felt it fitting that I personally give this award since it's something near and dear to my heart. Everybody knows that I am a true pneumatic fanatic. I love pneumatics so much ever since my very first one that I built with the simple trash can trauma. Once you start building pneumatics, you don't stop. It's an addiction, just like Halloween itself. And these days, pneumatic props are better than ever before. With bigger, faster, more realistic movements, with better quality, more detail work, it's unbelievable what a home haunter is building inside his basement or garage. With that, let me announce the nominees for best pneumatic prop.
And the winner is Greg Scholl with his Grieving Widow prop. Congratulations, Greg. This was an over-the-top pneumatic prop, which he made 100% by himself. He actually has a full tutorial on how he made this prop because he actually rebuilt it completely this year from a previous year. It is just a work of art with how the mechanics are involved, the gears that he made inside. It is truly a fantastic prop. Congrats to you. You definitely deserve this win. Let's move on with our next presenter. This one might be a little difficult to direct. Please bear with her as she's going to try her best to focus on what I asked her to do. Please welcome to the podium, the crazy cart lady. Getting in the cart, right? in the cart. This is the cart. This is carrying the cart. My cart. My cart. You want to ride in my cart? Okay, you can start anytime you want. The camera's rolling. Go ahead. Here's my cart. Here's my cart. The cart's outside. Here's my cart. We don't need the cart. cart. Just, just look at the camera. The camera's right in front of you. Here's my cart. Okay, don't need the cart. Here's my cart. Just talk Here's about the best production cart. video. Go ahead. Okay, can you just say the nominees for the best production video are? Nominees for the best production video are. That's not a microphone. The, micro, the microphone is in front of you. Oh Can you say into the. Okay, okay. from Catsburg Hoyt. moment around the crazy cart lady she's very hard to direct so uh, to keep her focused on one point is very hard to do uh she tried her best she really did
But I do want to congratulate No Offense for your win. What an awesome video. It was almost like watching a movie, yet it displayed his haunt beautifully. I really loved it. Congratulations to you, and thank you for showing us an awesomely produced video. Let me introduce to you my next presenter. She is very well known here on YouTube, and she has brought haunting to a whole nother level. Please welcome to the podium, Sharon, a.k.a. Josie Gal. that you can't have a home haunt without static props. Tombstones, mausoleums, coffins, skeletons, monsters, and endless others are there to set the mood. Without static props, even a home stuffed from top to bottom with animatronics wouldn't nearly be as effective as the one with static props backing them up. Having the best static prop category is a true test for any judge. The range of props are unbelievable, but it was fun going through them all. The nominee for the best static prop are And the winner is Ryan Herzog with his Cemetery Columns. Congratulations to you, Ryan. Those columns are awesome. I actually had uh, those columns on a segment in the Debbie Dave show a couple episodes ago. I loved them then, I still love them now. If I ever build a set of columns for my haunt, which I'm hoping to do, I'm gonna be using those as an inspiration. Meaning I'm gonna copy most of it. But they are really cool, really awesome columns. So congratulations to you, it's a very well-deserved win. Now it's time to move on to the award that we've all been waiting for. Being named Best Home Haunt for 2012 is a serious honor, especially when you're amongst a, such a group of haunters that have entered into this contest. The pure talent that I viewed while watching all of these haunts was just immense this year. Home haunting has been truly brought to a whole new level, and I look forward to seeing what comes from this. With every year haunters getting better and better, it's unbelievable what we as haunters are able to accomplish. With that, here are the nominees for Best Home Haunt 2012.
the winner is, with unanimous decision from all judges, receiving the highest score that we've seen in the Dead with Dave Awards. The winner of the 2012 Home Haunt Award is Steve Reeves from Steve's Haunted Yard. I want to congratulate you, Steve, on an awesome win. There's been an ongoing joke about how Steve always wins everything that he enters or doesn't even enter. But I don't want to take anything away from this award for him. Steve deserved this award 100% with the haunt that he showed this year. It was a complete haunt from top to bottom with some of the best detail I have ever seen in any haunt that I've ever been to in my life. So, Steve, you are the true winner. No joking, no criticisms. Congratulations to you, my man. You definitely deserve it. Well, that's it. That's all the words we have for tonight. I want to thank all my judges once again for all the hard work and effort they put into this show for me. Without them, I could not have done this. I want to thank Grimlock for making this kick-ass backdrop for us and just for the show, custom-made just for us. Thank you for that, buddy. I want to thank Crazy Cart Lady for stepping away from her cart for just a little bit amount of time to help me out here. And most importantly, I want to thank all of you who have come out to watch the show, who submitted your videos, and have supported me in everything I've done here on YouTube so far. If you want to see everybody that has entered the contest and all their videos in full, all the winners' videos in full, you can see them on my website at www.pandemichauntproduction.com. Everything is listed right there under contestants, and you will see all the beautiful work that everybody has done for their home haunts and their projects. Thank you all once again. It's been a blast. Good night.